Howdy YouTube and welcome to this episode of The Gunman. So today we've got a clear coat review and that is the Standox Performance Pro clear coat. So it is a premium clear coat and probably one of the best I've ever used. So K9590 is the product code there. You can see we've got the performance hardener. It's got its own specific hardener and it also has an additive there. I decided to show you guys that little corner down on the bottom of the screen too because if you are to use this and you ever do need to do like a spot repair or something like that, it does require its own blender. So you can't just go and use any clear coat blender for this one. Now it is a two to one clear, so nice and easy to remember and it takes 10% of that additive. So again, don't just go and swap that additive with any kind of reducer because it is a specific additive for this product. And as you know, may have noticed before, I was showing you the computer. Personally, I like to mix it up on the computer because I can get really precise with the amount of paint that I'm mixing up which I think is important not only for an environmental side of things but also especially because as I was saying it is a premium clear coat so you know it's quite expensive it's um, definitely not an entry-level clear but you do get what you pay for um, I would probably say this is the best if not the second or third best clear coat I've ever used so you may notice on this first coat, I go nice and skinny. Now what I like to do um, to control the orange peel with this clear coat is I would just um, change the way I spray that first coat. So this car here, I was going for more of that like a European type finish. So I did actually slow it down a little bit compared to what I otherwise would. If I was looking for more like a Japanese, like very flat type finish, I'd be going even skinnier than this on the first coat. Another thing that I do like about this clear is that the flash off times for the skinny coat are really, really fast. So I literally, by the time I uh, put my first coat on and I get back around to the start, it's usually ready to go. Um, now, if I'm doing a bonnet on a European vehicle, I might leave it for an extra couple of minutes. I think what they, uh, they recommended was three to five minutes flash time in, in between coats. So it, this clear coat can actually also be used in three layers and your candies as well. I have done that. But if you do bake in between coats, um, just be a little bit um, wary of that. Don't over bake it because the main difference in this clear here is that it will go like basically fully cured after a 25 minute bake at 60 degrees. So that's basically the catch on this clear. It's, it's an amazing clear and it's a very unique clear. So if you're not familiar with automotive clear coats, they usually take 14 to 28 days to cure fully. This clear coat, now any spray painters will know exactly what I mean. So if you get a run with this clear coat, right, you've got that big build up of clear. You will be able to get a razor blade on it the next morning. That clear coat will be rock hard the entire way through, top to bottom. That's what I mean by fully cured. So normal clear coats, because it's layered up and it's so thick, you'll have to put the heat lights onto that run for minimum an hour. You'll have to shave the top off it carefully, put the lights on it, and then gradually go down and dry it and it's got one of the best gloss retentions out of any clear coats that I've ever used. And it's also not too thick and gluggy. So back in the day, some of the clear coats, they used to just rely on their thickness to give it body to sort of retain a little bit of gloss that may uh, be sucked out of it from the base coat. But with this clear, it's they managed to make it nice and thin so it's easy to work with, it lays down nice, it's gonna give you that finish that you desire and I've also found, like it's, the, one of the things I really love about the premium Standox clear coats is, it's just, there's no mucking around with heating it up. In fact, you really shouldn't heat this up like in the can. Don't do that, don't ever do that, right? Um, because it'll probably just go hard in the pot on you. Um, yeah, so even in winter, I wouldn't recommend. And if you did, it would only be like booth temperature. Like I, I wouldn't say go and put it in a bucket of hot water like you do with um, some of the other old school style clear coats. But yeah, one of the things I do love about it is that it's just out of the box, it works, it works well, and you can manipulate it to get that finish without having to muck around with it. You'll just, 
I mean, manipulate it by the way you spray. As I was saying before, a little bit heavier on your first coat. You're gonna get your European finishes, crank that pressure up on the first coat, put it on ultra skinny, and you're gonna get the damn flattest ass finishes you've ever seen. So a big part of the reason I'm actually doing this video is because they did a demo with us earlier this week and they brought in their new ish clear. Like it's been around for a while actually. It was still, it was around when I was over there in Perth, but it's the low energy clear and it's called the Standox Extreme Clear. So I will actually be doing a review on that soon. Once all, I've had a bit of time to use it, but my initial uh, thoughts are it's amazing. And the amazing thing about that stuff is it's in an air dry clear. So it appears that you're retaining that same awesome gloss that you do off this clear coat, but you're saving yourself a bake cycle. So especially these days with um, you know fuel prices and gas prices going up, I think we could be onto a winner with these air dry clears. So it's one of those things that like years ago, sort of like 10 or, 10 or so years ago, the technology was heating up the booth and getting it to ultra high temperatures. You had these gas fired infrareds, but it's at the point now where you, if you're the person that didn't upgrade your booth, you've nearly leapfrogged because it's like the, the clear coat's kind of gone ahead of the spray booths and the, the IR technology. So it's literally the, uh, the clear coat that I've got now, that low energy stuff is half an hour, you don't even have to leave it on spray cycle. Go in there and unmask it. So it is kind of a little bit bittersweet because I do love this clear coat. So look, we may end up have running them side by side. I can't imagine why I would need to use this clear coat. As much as I love it and it is unique, it's probably worth mentioning that they do actually recommend that this clear gets baked, even if it's the last job of the day. So this is the next morning after a bake and you can see it's got a awesome gloss retention down there even where all the base coat is but a really good hold out of that gloss as you can see nice clean job because of the stando blue so i thought this would be a good way to visualize for you guys how hard this stuff goes. So this one here is some of that Performance Pro clear coat and you can see I can't even push that together. I can't get any out of that. So that didn't even get a bake. Now this didn't get a bake either, but this is the Extreme Clear. So the other uh, clear coat that I was talking about, the other um, premium Standox clear, the air dry one, but it is a little bit more rubbery, whereas this Performance Pro it's just hard as a rock. So yeah, it's just, it really is quite unique, amazing clear coat and one of the best I've ever used. Uh, one thing that's probably worth mentioning, it wouldn't be a good clear coat for use at home because it really does need that heat. However, if you did want a good premium clear coat for use at home, I would actually recommend that other air dry extreme standox clear. You're gonna pay for it. It kits probably up around the $700 mark. Don't quote me on that, but that's just um, a bit of a guess. Now, this is the best look I could get at the car. Sorry, I'm a little bit squeezed up against that wall there when it's in the wash bay, but yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy watching this feed. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you wanna support the show, go and check out the link in the description and you can buy yourself some Gunman merch. Until next time, get out there and paint some shit. Gunman out.